Larry and I have made quite a bit of progress on the right-handed swing. Love it. I'm super happy with how it's going so far. Hit a lot of like satisfying shots mm -hmm. in that last video we did mm -hmm. with the seven iron. So um, that's got me excited. And we were just talking right after we finished about the fact that maybe in a month and a half, we might be on the golf course. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously to play golf, you need to be able to chip and pitch and have some basic technique when you're around the greens. Mm -hmm. And that's not something I've touched period. Mm -hmm. um, so I think this would be a great way to give me literally a, an introduction to you know pitching or short wedge shots. Um, get an idea of what I do now naturally, and then make some adjustments that will sure, make me yeah, a little yeah. bit, you know. And I think this is really good because as you start hitting these half wedge shots, it really is very similar to what we do for your full swing anyways. Right, right. So I think everything will blend really well together. Good. Um, but yeah, why don't Let's you just like, so we have a 40 yard shot here. You have a 50 degree wedge, you have a I 40 do. yard shot. Yep. Just show me what you would try to do, Kay. and then we'll go from there, okay? That was a good first try. It's not terrible. <laughs> That's a good first try. <laughs> nice. Scald. Okay. So let's let's. So you're actually not doing too bad at all, okay? So technique-wise, it's not too bad. There's not too much lift. You just kind of turn and turn. So it's all that's, that's pretty not good. Awful. Yeah. Arms pretty long in your follow through, which which I like. So one thing I really want to just make sure you do at right now is setup is too wide. Okay, so we want to so bring the feet in closer. Narrower, uh, shorter the shot, the narrower the stance, okay? Yeah. Shorter the swing, the narrower the stance as well. Yes. So I would make it one foot width apart only. You so are I, probably I was like here, two, right? three foot width apart, yeah. Okay, so so make like it one this. foot width apart, good. And then I would go roughly 50-50 at setup with your weight. Okay. I would still have that slight shaft lean, so you have that uh, straight line from your shoulder down the arm down the club. Okay. Okay, really good. Do you feel roughly 50-50 right now? Yeah, so I'm not leaning forward, I'm just okay. even. That's good. Okay. You can actually afford to have a little bit of that hip bump. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Really good there. And then from there, try to make that same swing that you've been doing. Okay. Really good. That felt a lot better. Really good. Despite me yes. falling over. So why we want that setup to be narrower uh -huh. is because when you hit, the club will probably interact with the ball and in the ground somewhere between your feet, right? Yeah. But if such a small swing, we're not trying to create power anyways, we want to tr basically narrow up so that we narrow up the area that the club will interact with the ball in the ground. So if you set yourself very wide, you're saying there can be some lateral motion. Right, the club can cross, so do that wide stance again. If your stance is that wide, the club can hit the ground here, yeah. it can hit the ground over here, right? I know extreme, but it is possible. And you, by going narrower, are you essentially creating like a tighter arc exactly. here? Exactly. So it's a smaller interaction? Exactly. Even sense. though we want to have a wide arc through the hitting area, yeah. I want it to be a wide arc that's so proportionate to the club lowering and rising right. back up. And have a bit more precision exactly, near yeah. the strike area. Exactly. That makes sense. I've never heard it explained quite that way. I've just, I know it's a common thing like stand narrow for wedges, mm. but that actually makes a lot of sense. Okay, that's so good. about here. Yeah, that's good, yep. Hip bump. What ball position does it look like it is to you? It looks middle. Okay, I would probably like move it ball one back of middle for now. Yeah, that's good there. Yeah, for what you feel, I like that a lot. Okay. And then yeah, make that same swing that you've just been doing. Really good. Go in. Ooh. Good. So right now, I don't care about spin. I don't care about all that. I just want to make sure you get decent contact and the kill okay. is roughly the distance, The right? distance, yeah. So you obviously chunked that one quite a bit, which is expected. Good. You are not a right-handed golfer anyways. <laughs> yes. yes, very But chunky. you can see, so before you were this wide. Oh yeah, wow, that's like seven iron. Right, eight. that is literally seven iron. Yeah. And then now we're going here. Yeah, that looks about. This one's actually a little bit liftier, which is what you check. I think it. so. I didn't you feel like I turned. Yeah, see well. how your arms moved more? So literally, so set up again. Okay. So when you set up, like your arms are set, right? Yeah. So, you, so you, what you did was you moved this arms independently from the turn. Yeah, you did that. You should just be turned, so turn, and that's what moves everything, okay? Okay. So less arms, more body. Yeah, like zero, feel zero arms, especially for these wet shots. Yes. Oh, dude, way better. That felt a lot better. Way better. Really good there, Matt. Really good. Just needed more club head speed exactly. to get to the green. Watch but watch this. Contact so, was good. Contact was really good. So you see how things slide off? See how elbows is more together? You see uh, that? Really, really good. Perfect there. And if the follow through is slightly bigger, it's fine. 
But within, I just don't want you it to within... be. I just don't want it to be like a full finish. Yeah, I, I I have a bad habit of that lefty where I'll kind of be like. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah, what is yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> That's what is that doing for you other than putting you totally out of sequence? Totally. That last one was really good. By Felt the way. nice. Yeah. The technique looked great. Really, really good. So you've noticed that the distance has decreased a bit because you got the distance from your arms before. Oh. So very similarly to what okay. we did with the full swing today, you may just have to feel like, watch me for a sec, you may have to feel like what initiates the turn is a little bit more of that bounce and turn. Because before you got that 40 yards by using your just, arms more. I'm right? But now we've killed some of the arms, you gotta replace it somehow. So with a little bit of the lower body generating yeah. speed. Yeah, so you just use that same bounce and turn that we felt okay. with the inside of your right foot. Dude, perfect. See that? I feel that, yeah. Perfect. That's really cool. So just a little bit of down and yes, through. Yes, yes, yes. Do it again. Watch this. So now you can see. Feeling pretty nice. More obvious, more sync to the legs a little bit. Okay. See that? Has That's a little bit of flow seat. to it. Beautiful there, Matt. Beautiful. Really good there. It is cool. I can start to see that I'm, I know we're not focused on numbers, but like I can actually start to launch some lower launch, 29 totally. launch, 6,000 spin pitches, totally. which is good stuff. Like at least I know I can make decent contact exactly. that way. And, and you're delivering it decently too. Decently. Because before yeah. when I started, I think they were very shallow and scuffy. Yes. They would have been high launch, sort of low spin exactly. pitches, which are inconsistent. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We want that. I mean, people are always going to say 30-ish degree is, is a safe. good range. I mean, well, as we dive deeper into it, we may want to go a little lower, a little higher. Whatever it is, we'll talk play about that later on. Play different shots. Yeah. But yeah. for now, for your level as a righty golfer, this as a stock shot is already light years away from most other it's, amateur golfers. It's comfortable, yeah. And this is off a of tight lie too, so it's exactly. good to see we can make contact. So exactly. basically we narrow the stance way up. Yep, exactly. So we got the hands a little ahead. Apart, roughly, yep. A little bump into yep, the left side. Perfect. And then I tried to make sure I wasn't doing lift. Yep, you just turn and slide turn. the club and hands off. And, and then in my turn. right instep I felt. Yes, exactly. And you just keep things through. symmetrical in on both, both directions. sides. Yeah, exactly. Good. Yeah, okay, guys. Yeah, that's a good simple lesson. Thanks, buddy. Mm -hmm. This will get me sort of on the road to being able to play a real round of golf. Yes. Um, once we get outside, I think obviously we'll have to do some specific stuff, hitting out of the rough, mm -hmm. uh, hitting out of bunkers. Right. But the motion, the technique, that, and the concept yeah. is going to stay the same. So we have this foundation for me to work exactly. on, and then we'll go from there. Exactly. Okay, guys, let us know if you have any comments about this. Um, really good lesson. I appreciate Larry's uh, expertise as always. Um, thanks for watching.